What's up, guys? John here with my beautiful wife, Sharice. Hey. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. So uh, this week, we're going to cover what's going on today. It's the 4th of July. That's right. America's Independence Day. Now, a lot of people have died for our flag and for our independence. So that's a big, big thing out there. I think some people you know, they forget that sometimes. So I just want to make sure that we're all aware of you know, what's went on to make our country so great and the sacrifices a lot of people have done to make this country what it is. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and 4th of July is great too, right? Because usually you're getting out, you're doing stuff with the family, you're attending barbecues, you're swimming dogs, in pools, hamburgers. hot dogs, hamburgers, whatever <laughs> it is. Um, you know, and you're... Whatever it is, you're getting together with family, you're having a good time, and you're celebrating the 4th of July. And let's not forget about the fireworks. Fireworks. Fireworks in the are air great. or in the bedroom? Oh, in both, right? <laughs> <laughs> a good one. You know, but, you know, it's all about fireworks, too. So, I mean, you know, I mean, some people don't like fireworks, so if you don't like them, totally, it's, it's your choice. Some people do like fireworks, um, you know. There are people out there that get affected by fireworks too, or even fur babies. You know, so some dogs get, get <laughs> they really crazy the when bed. they see fireworks. Yeah, they get scared. Um, or even some veterans, right, or might have PTSD. Um, and at that point, there are some people out there that do get affected by fireworks. So I just want to be more conscious about all those people out there and more inclusive. I like that new word, inclusive. That means everybody. Um, you know, out there. So we're just, you know. We're thinking about other people, not just ourselves. I think that's what that's fireworks so are all about. I love him. It's really, it's really what it is. So, I really do. But, you know, I, fireworks are cool because <laughs> at that point, you know, a lot of people, especially when I was a kid, we used to go to, like, these different parks and stuff like that. They used to have huge fireworks oh, yeah. shows. Oh, yeah. You know, I wasn't, you know... I wasn't blessed enough to be living down here like Sharice was because in Florida, I would have been on the beach watching fireworks uh -huh. every 4th of July. I was in the street. I was holding a, sp a sparkler. It doesn't work. Yeah, and you know the things you're not supposed to hold, like, you know. The Roman candles? Yeah, because my dad told me that I could hold them, okay? Not so smart. that's what I used to do, and I would just shoot them up in the air, and then, like, you know, shoot them at things, like <laughs> trees and stuff. And I, this was okay back yeah. then. I, I think, you know, as kids, we might have messed with good put with fire. You are not supposed to hold Roman candles crazy. and shoot them at each other. I remember, like, in 4th of July, like, you know, like, you know, some nights, and my brother was nine and a half years older than me, right? So his friends were nine and a half years older than me, too. And we'd, have, like, we'd have bottle rocket wars. <laughs> and they'd be, we'd be shooting bottle rockets. And I think about it now. I'm like, oh, my God. What are we doing? <laughs> and I was young. So what were they doing even let me be involved with that? As How a young dare kid, right? you let these children so be part of bottle rockets? Shame, shame on you. But luckily, nothing <laughs> happened. Um, you know, some things do happen to people with fireworks. You know, they get their hands blown off, fingers blown off. Bad mm -hmm. things can happen with burns and such. So if you are going to mess around with fireworks, please be safe about it. Mm -hmm. Teach your kids you know, proper safety with fireworks. Don't hold them in your hand. Always put them on the ground play securely and run as fast as you can because i mean even with that like you know if you're blowing off fireworks don't blow them off in a neighborhood you're, and i'll just give you uh, my personal aye, aye, uh, aye. situation what happened to me last year so uh. god bless you know this year is going to be a better year as far as that goes street is healthy doesn't have covid anymore and wasn't in the hospital like last year i don't want to be there again so at that point, when she was in the hospital in ICU, ever. obviously they weren't letting anybody in there at all. Yep, and I sat so, in there all alone and listened to the fireworks. So basically what I did was I was FaceTiming with Sharice the whole time when she was in there. And I was crying. And at that point, like, I'm sitting on the bed at home, um, and I'm listening to these fireworks go off. I'm like, all right, cool. I look out the window, and let it behold, mm -hmm. the neighbors across the street start think it's a good idea that they're not going to blow fireworks off in their backyard. Even though they have a really big They're backyard. not going to blow them off in their driveway. Right. They're going to go to the middle of the street where it's aiming towards my driveway. And in my driveway, I think I got some pretty badass rides. <laughs> I know I do to a certain extent, and you know I know the money that These they cost me. These are hard-earned, worked, 
vehicles that we cherish. So okay, if I start seeing fireworks coming down on my wrapped vehicles and my vehicles, and that's disrespecting my property. Not, not even talking about the cleanup factor in my yard. Yeah, right? let's not talk about that. I'm going to be very upset about it. And I think anybody has a right to be very upset about it. If you start disrespecting people's property, you know, it's not yours to do, there's probably going to be an issue, right? right? And they're going to deal with it in a lot of different ways. I don't even know if fireworks are legal. If cops get called, I have no idea how that works. I know uh, they sell them everywhere down here in Florida. It's changed nowadays. You didn't right? know back in the day in Florida, yeah. John, when I tell you, at every single stoplight, there was a fireworks. firework joint. Yeah, I bet. And you'd go in there and you'd spend, you yeah. know, and, and get as many rolls as you possibly yeah. could. <laughs> I'm telling you, you'd kill it. Yeah, so, you know, fireworks are good. So at that point, like, they can be really awesome. It can be really entertaining. It can be great for the family to sit there and watch. Like I said, proper safety. Make sure you're not disrespecting other people's property. I think that's the biggest things to take out of it. Um, even if you're not going to blow off fireworks, it's really cool if you were going to take the family or you want that romantic date with your loved one, take them to somewhere where they, you guys can share and bond that time. Like literally you guys can sit like on a blanket, wherever it's at. They usually have some pretty cool right? different, that's anywhere. I think anywhere, anywhere you can go and find a place that's usually shooting off fireworks. Yeah. Like I know the malls used to close down and we used to go to the mall. Yep. That yep. was really cool. Oh, I remember that too. Remember yeah. that? Yep. And they would like put on this big fireworks show. Yep. I know Disney World puts on a really good fireworks show. Disney, they do. A really good fireworks yep. show. They do. Um, but you can go somewhere and just spend time with your family. I mean, ultimately when we start talking about all these holidays, right the, you know this the holidays coming up and by the way <laughs> we are open on monday <laughs> oh yeah july 5th place are closed on it's july 5th. the 5th not the 4th it's so, not a holiday on the 5th trust me i wanted monday off this? too okay i wanted monday off too it didn't happen it's yeah. on a sunday and i still gotta work sunday so what, i have zero empathy here? for anyone out yeah there. no no definitely luckily not. the banks are closed yeah. but i mean you the know banks are open on the 5th no they're closed the banks are closed yeah I know. I just Observance. thought about this. Wow. So it's cool. It's cool. Okay. You know, but I mean, it's it's a time for you to spend time with your family, your loved ones. You know, spend quality time. Like this gives you that opportunity to do that. Especially like you know, with these barbecues. A lot of these Floridians. Yep. Okay, yep. we like to barbecue outside. Yep. I'm hoping it doesn't rain on Fourth of July. There is. It, it's always like a fifty-fifty chance of rain on Fourth of July, and no matter what they're going to still have that fireworks show. Yeah. Like they might postpone it or whatever yeah. it might be. Yeah. You know who else puts on a good fireworks show? Ooh. Piper and Corey. Oh, yeah. Mike Piper, Water, they're probably going to have some great fireworks. they got to have a good one. They, I mean, Corey, and I'm going to make sure I tag her in this or however we're going to do that, yeah. but I want to make sure she used to put on some really good fireworks shows at yeah. Jackson's. Yeah. Jackson's in the middle of the water out there. So that's what I'm saying. It's like it was just it was nice. You know, it, you ca I don't know what it is about fireworks, but when the fireworks go off, right? Yeah. It's like this moment, right? It's enchanting. Same, same thing as like New Year's Eve, right? It's this moment that you get to just bond or connect yeah. for a moment because it's just so pretty. It's yep. so nice. You know, you just have that moment. Enjoy the moment while you can. Yeah. You know, enjoy it. Yeah. That's what life's all about is enjoying those moments, right? And recognizing those moments. And they'll literally stay with you forever at that point. I mean, those are usually happy moments, you know. And that's another big thing. So this year, I think Mike Piper, Piper Pipe Productions, big shout out, and Core Arena, they're doing water. Okay? I'm sure they're going to do something So great. it's here in Tampa, if you guys don't know. So big shout out to them. Um, that wasn't planned or anything. So I hope you guys, if you guys don't have any plans, they'll probably have some good music and some probably good fireworks over there. So go check them out. For sure. Um, but, you know, side of the point, like, if you're looking to do something with your partner, like, you know, that's really a really good time to do it. You really don't even have to say anything or do anything. Maybe just hold them, hold their hand, whatever it is, yep. and kind of just enjoy the moment together. It's, yeah. it's really cool. It's a really bonding thing. Usually that New Year's are really good for fireworks, especially sure. down here. Up north, not so much because it's cold. Not, usually <laughs> either, but not in July, though, right? No, in July, no. I, wait, I think we were out in when, Chicago once. So I took her to Navy Pier one time. <gasps> that was so cool. Uh, for 4th of July and up in Chicago. I was loved my it. Old stopping grounds. That was nice. But that was cool, too. We went on a boat uh, out, uh, you know, out there in Lake Michigan. That was nice. And at that point, seeing the fireworks out there was, yeah, was really cool. cool. Right in front of Navy Pier. It was just, you know, it's awesome scenery. Like, stuff like that is just really, really cool. Um, and th think about this. We didn't, most of the people didn't get to really do anything last year because of COVID, yeah. right? They canceled National all the fireworks shows, you know, no gatherings. 
you know, nothing like that. So this year, we got to make up double for oh, last well, year. Here we go. So you guys need to help out and, and really, you know, show some pride and some joy with Fourth of July this year and uh, go out for your family, go out for yourself, and go out for your partner, whoever you're going to be with. I'm going to eat an extra hot dog just for that. Yeah, there you go. There <laughs> I'm going to have go. one more extra drink too yeah. while we're at it. <laughs> I mean, even for us, like, you know, we, you know, usually you can start traditions too for Fourth of July. And one of our traditions did get broken this year uh, because, you know, one of our friends, you know, they used to throw on Ugh. this, yeah. like, phenomenal phenomenal fireworks display i mean At the guy mansion. used to spend like 20 or thirty thousand dollars or probably more on probably, fireworks. Well, i'd have been at least like 50 plus. it was it was like better than a lot of shows that i see yeah and this is like right there really cool. um you know but you know things happen and they're not doing it anymore um, so at that point, you know, we kind of off on that, but we're going to have our own little family thing where me, Peter and Sharice are going to be by the pool and by the beach and hopefully get to see some good fireworks and enjoy some good weather this weekend. Yeah. So if you guys don't live in Florida or if you do live in Florida, you know that, you know, summer is rain season here. So, you know, it usually rains once or twice a day. Yeah. But like it rains and then the sun comes out yeah. like five minutes later. So just, you know, just go stand under a tiki hut or something and then <laughs> you'll go back out and then you get your, get your tan on. Grab some shade. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> How many times does that happen? A lot. A lot. A lot. That's what happens in Florida. It does happen. There's sun showers is what they call yeah, it. Yeah, sun showers. Sun showers. Hopefully it won't rain most of the day or hopefully it won't downpour. John's looking hate. forward to that sun. I'm looking forward to the he sun. He loves the sun. See, he loves the sun. And he's over there trying to get his tan on, right. like literally going like this, getting, making sure he gets under here, yep. going this way. Yep. And literally, I am like, where is the umbrella? Yep. Okay? Because I am like, I don't want any more sun. I don't want to feel super hot. I don't want to be sweating. Wedding. I lo- I enjoy the you know nice weather and the the you know pool side and stuff like that. But I just I just don't want the sun like beating yeah. on me. She likes know? the environment, but she doesn't I like the, the sun. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I just need the umbrella. You know, so I, I tell the people like, find me an umbrella, roll it on over here, and put it right over my chair. <laughs> I usually pay them to put two umbrellas over Just a chair. Just in case. You know, the sun so rotates. Me, yeah, <laughs> from east to west or whatever it is. So at that point, you got to make sure you're covered on both ends. But, uh, yeah, so, you know, if you haven't planned anything for today, go out. Go find something. Uh, you can go online and probably find out where all the fireworks sure. um, displays are going to be at or, or events are going to be at in your area. So it's probably really easy to do. And you still got time. Right, because it's early right now. So at that point, you can go out, you know, because fireworks usually don't happen till like dusk time, right? And, and you know, when it starts getting dark, because you can't That's like see eight, the fireworks. Yeah, like so you know, here in Florida, it's like you know eight. I would say about yeah. eight o'clock or something like that. Uh, if you're not planning on doing fireworks, call up some friends or take your loved one out and go to do something really cool. Yeah, you know, especially here in Florida, man. You can go to the beach, you can go everywhere. We are open and full here in Florida, so. At that point, there's no restrictions. You guys can pretty much do whatever you want to do. Go um, get your own fireworks. Yeah, there you go. You can do that too. Do your own. Just yeah. do it in your own backyard, okay? Be safe about it. And not other people's cars. Be safe about yeah. it. Yeah. So uh, that's it, guys. <laughs> hope you guys are enjoying yourself on your 4th of July. I hope you guys have yes. an awesome Happy 4th night. of July. Happy 4th of July and happy Independence Day to our country. Yes. You know, let's not lose sight of that and what has made our country what it is. We can't erase history. We can only learn from our mistakes and move forward. All right? So we appreciate you guys tuning in. Like always, make sure you guys check out our social medias, guys. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and especially our YouTube page, right? And if you guys want to learn more about our therapies and what we do here, go to our website, www.tightmedicalcenter.com. You guys can always call or text us about anything that we discuss here as far as our therapies go or how we can service you and make you look better, feel better, and perform better. Just call or text 727-389-3220. I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we'll see you guys next week for another Cupid's Corner. See ya.